Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled The Beauty of Death. Parsha Tazina, the Pazik says, that a person is wise, he'll understand what is coming later on. Now, Rashi understands this to mean, it should understand cause and effect, and for no destruction that comes to Bnei Israel. This Saba Mikelm actually says, a person who's a Chacham will understand what the next chapter in his life is going to be. Here, he's going to die, whatever years Hashem gives him, 50, 70, 100, 120, and then he's going to die, and it's good to have a perspective and understanding of his death, and keep that in mind, and realize that he is truly mortal, and then it'll give him, hopefully, a proper perspective of what his role is here in this world, and what he may merit if he acts properly in this world, what he can merit in the future. The uh, fact is, uh, death is a scary type topic. It's something that we don't want to discuss. We want to ignore it. Uh, Yatus really doesn't look at it as such a scary thing. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, Rav Shlomo Zalman Orbach, so who's the sweetest of the sweetest we know, and uh, Talmud once came to him all sad and down that doctors just told him that he has a critical illness and it doesn't look like uh, they've been able to heal him. And it could be just a matter of months. And Rosh Hashanah says, do you understand what happened over here? Some people, they die in the middle of the, of the night, of the, uh, suddenly in their sleep. Everyone thinks that's such a great thing. The bottom line is, he had no time to go ahead, have a perspective, do tshuva, pay back any debt, to make shalom with all the people they need to make shalom with, make shalom with Hashem. You now have such an opportunity. Take advantage of this. So it is sad, of course, sad for your family. It's, it's not a simple topic, but understand the bra that you received over here. That's what Rosh Lama Zalman Orbach said. Even in the secular world, anyone reads the scene of uh, uh, Socrates and his death scene in Phaedo, written by Plato, where he had no fear of death. Uh, and here he has no Masora. He wasn't exposed to Tosh Batao, Tosh Barpeta, Masora of Ola Bazet, this world and the next world. He didn't, and still he understood. And he had everything in a good, healthy perspective. If that's in the secular world, that he's able to be such a height. All the more so, we should have that same perspective as well. And in the Parsha Hazinu also, Hashem says, Moshe, you're going to die like Aaron. And Rashi says, ah, that's the death that he wanted. Aaron went ahead up to the mountain. He knew he was dying. We don't see him going crazy and wailing and mourning. Yes, the people cried because they had a big loss. But for Aaron, he lived his life out to the fullest. He created a tremendous leadership in Klai Yisrael, had such hashpa, such influence on them. He sees that the Messiah was continuing with his son. It's a beautiful death. And Moshe wanted that same death. And finally, we look into the nature, the world of nature. We see Hashem built into nature that as we get older, we get grayer, and we get more wrinkles, and Hashem is built into the laws of nature. The, the youthful idea that you have that you can live forever, you're immortal. Okay, rationally, you always know you're, you're not immortal. Uh, but emotionally, you, you feel it, and Hashem sends messages, you're mortal. You're going to die. You're here for a certain amount of time. Use it to grow, to develop. Take care of your physical body. Enjoy it in the right perspective. But your essential part is your non-physical part. Your neshama, yitzelam alakim. That's what you must develop. That's what's going to be your future, not the physical body. And yes, death can be a little bit scary for sure. But if your essence is the spiritual development, that's your goal in life, and your physical, you'll take care of it, but that's not the goal, so then death is not scary at all. And then you'll have it in mind, and you'll keep a good, healthy perspective, and you're not going to get freaked out as the expression goes about this topic. You'll live your life to the fullest, and in Yitz Hashem, when it comes to that chapter in one's life, the person will accept it graciously, will take advantage to do tshuva if he has the time beforehand, if he knows about it ahead of time, and yes, Hashem, it won't be some horrible experience, but instead it'll be just a transition from a life which is essentially spiritual but anchored in the physical to a life which is purely spiritual. Shalom.